and welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 16th of August 2022, with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. Let's have a look around what's happening in the markets today. Of course, overnight we saw US equities positive again in the overnight session as the SP 500 hit four month highs on little new data and lower energy prices buoying markets. We haven't seen oil price here since February. U.S. futures are near to neutral in Asian sessions, just slightly to the downside at this stage, but looking pretty solid where they are. No great movement. Asian indices are mixed. We saw the Nikkei open lower. The ASX is about three quarters of a percent in early trading. European futures are also suggesting a higher open at this stage. The U.S. dollar index remains rage bound over those six week lows that we've talked about before. Fairly neutral in Asia at this stage. And we've seen gold drop from that 1800 resistance it's been bashing against for the last week or so, down to around about 1775 in Asia today. Oil, as we've already intimated, is trading below $100 at February lows. Copper's paused and has moved back down to the key 360 level, which we suspect may become support. And the VIX is at six month lows with a very calm market at this stage. Bitcoin is testing 24,000 key level at the top of the range still, as we reported yesterday, failed to break through that with any conviction and still just trading around that level at this point in time. On the data front, we've got UK employment, Eurozone trade balance and economic sentiment, which is likely to affect local currencies. We've got some US housing data out tonight, which is not expected to be particularly good and Canadian inflation data. So watch out if you're in the Canadian dollar and holding it overnight. ASX earnings continue. We are in the middle of the ASX earnings season. Now the US earnings season has finished. BHP outperformed today. And we have actually got a chart of the day up, which you can also have a look at the video for. Just a couple of other charts of interest that caught our eye today. It is worth looking at the VIX. You can see there's the daily chart and there's the low not seen since January. And if we just look at the 30 minute chart, you can see we've got some temporary short term support here for those of you who are interested in trading this around about this 2030 level. An impressive drop after that equity strength overnight. But since then, it's really traded in a relatively tight range. We'd expect to see some more movement on this later in the session, perhaps when the European markets open at this stage, just slightly higher on the day because of that US futures weakness. On the ASX, we're liking the look of Macquarie Bank. We are testing a key level around this 182. This pushes us through this 200 MA and also tests this high we hit at the end of July and the resistance that was in place throughout May. A move above this could see us up to around about 195 in the first instance and possibly even if we get some significant buying momentum behind this towards that 200 level in the medium term. That's certainly one to keep an eye on. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.